Hello, wonderful people, viewers, and subscribers. Welcome back on this platform, BBI channel. One where truth is gospel. Um, I came across a video of Tony Nadi, the leader of um, or the secretary general of um, the Luanida Congress and um, the coordinator or whatever is one of the leaders of Ninas, those advocating for the rights of indigenous peoples to self determination in Nigeria. Okay. Um, and the agitation boils around constitution, whether or not Nigerian unity is negotiable. I want you to listen to him attentively. I'll be right back. We came out uh, yesterday, May uh, the 2nd, uh, to a statement uh, purportedly uh, coming out from uh, one Peter Afunanya that says is, is, uh, is a spokesman of uh, DSS, uh, you know, uh, uh, threatening uh, everybody who says uh, who, who is doing anything to, that would threaten the unity of Nigeria and the sovereignty of Nigeria and government and all sorts of such uh, nonsense. Well, well um, I would be surprised if it came from uh, DSS because uh, one cannot uh, trust what we <laughs> find on social media these days. But if anybody is still at that uh, mundane level of thought of uh, describing self-preservation uh, uh, actions being taken within the rights of self-determination that's inalienable to the constituents of the disputed federation of Nigeria because this constitution 1999 that is a forgery that has our signature at the base as, as authorization as long as that constitution is in place nigeria is a disputed project because the people who are purported to have agreed to live together have come forward to say we never met we never agreed on anything it is a forgery it is a fraud against all of us it is in that kind of setting that one will be addressing uh, on behalf of ninas addressing that uh, state uh, directorate of uh, state uh, uh, services uh, dss to point them to explain to them just in case they didn't know they should be finding out from their principal what is going on. That is the federal government of Nigeria. They should realize that what the people who are demanding an immediate reconstruction of the constitutional basis of Nigeria, the one they call restructuring, or even the ones that say they are fed up, they want to go to be countries of their own, they are not the ones threatening the unity of Nigeria. The people that are threatening the unity of Nigeria, that are pushing Nigeria towards disintegration in the manner that the vice president uh, had warned about in September of uh, 2020, are the ones who are holding on to that uh, forgery of a constitution to say we cannot, uh, that Nigeria is non-negotiable and not uh, 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 indivisible and all of that. They are the ones who are, refu the ones who are refusing to come, for, to come forward for that uh, imperative of uh, reconstruction for a house that is uh, on the verge of collapse. They are the ones pushing Nigeria towards uh, disintegration. And then um, uh, one will expect that... Uh, they will, uh, you know, the, the DSS and all of those who are trying to, the other time it was uh, some uh, semi-literate uh, 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 governors that were talking about uh, uh, people who are doing secession and others who are doing treason. The only secession on the table now are the ones uh, who, who, who declared themselves uh, Sharia, who, are, who have seceded from the secular union of Nigeria, these 12 states. The only treason on the table now are the ones who are clinging onto the constitution that's a forgery, you know, against the rest of us. Good. Tony Nadi had been consistent with the issue of the Nigerian constitution, particularly. And as a Lego luminary as he is, a learned gentleman, he understands that the, co the constitution of Nigeria is a document of enslavement. I agree with him 100%. No plus, no minus. But what matters now is how do you get this constitution down and out who will be responsible in expunging in setting aside this constitution to free nigerians the bottom line of this whole agitation boils down on the freedom of nigerian people from nigeria because nigeria had been designed to enslave and put Nigerians under perpetual captivity. And I've always suggested in every approach, in every of my advocacy for a political resolution of every crisis. Yes. You have to understand the politics behind this constitution and how it was designed 
to make your life miserable. And that is what he has been advocating for. And the whole thing, pata pata boils down on the people. The general masses. I believe Tony Nadi has been trying everything possible to garner to himself the massive followership of all Nigerians to believe in the issue of bringing down the constitution once and for all. Because the sovereignty lies on the people. That is the truth. The sovereignty lies on the people. Now, how would Nigerians do it? That is the problem. That is where we are on a fix. Every one of us. Tony Nadi had advocated for force majeure. We are still looking out for how that will play out. While the Nigerian people generally are still under the captivity of poverty, hunger, and lack of education and information. They are still under the grips of the political class. Across Nigeria, they are all into this one Nigerian experiment because they are bound to keep this system going so as to continue their impunity, their corruption, because that is what is breeding all this nonsense. That constitution. So Tony Nadi, we are looking forward for the force majeure. And we hope that Nigerian people will one day wake up to say, enough is enough. We are no longer interested with the constitution. But I tell you, as an advice, there is need for a political process to set that constitution aside. How are we going to do it? We will continue interacting and educating our people first, then playing the right politics to think, to turn these things around. This is my opinion now. What is your own opinion? Share it. Drop your comment. Let's hear you out while the discussion continues. I'm also Jenny Peters. I'm just a voice. Subscribe, like, and share. Bye-bye for now.